taqui taqui, taqui taqui rumba. Oh 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 oh, I am using high flows. Baila me como si. All right, uh, it is the home stretch of our sports finale, and the question of the day was: Has time come for FKF president Nick Mwanda to be investigated on his handling? of the FKF uh, of the Federation's finances on uh, Facebook somebody by the name of Kage uh -huh, not Kageni uh, Muturi wa Njehu sports finale hashtag Dika Kisi estate well represented Asante sana for your feedback Johnson Karanja in from Chomo AD mm, sija kupata vizuri lakini hata hivyo ujumbe wako umefika Apollo James a few uh, feedback from our viewer the yeah, onyanti is saying here yeah, that is why even the team is not performing mm -hmm. uh, someone is saying they even late they should have done it earlier mm -hmm. and then maybe uh, uh, the last one uh, it's it's long overdue sawa, sawa. Yeah. it's long overdue and in 360 degrees let's now change the conversation to kickboxing which is back after being disrupted by the covid 19 pandemic now today we feature Jafet Takid, he prefers to be called Takid Master, a kickboxing expert who has two wives and eight children. Mm. He's the national coach, Kenya Federation Competition. Karibu <laughs> sana Takid. Tuna shangaa sana. Two wives. What wana? What wana wana? Huko na wawili. How are you going to do it? Okay, mm. conversation siju information two wives eight kids how is it kuna balance aje kubalance ngumu i think tunge okay wacha tu nichape kidogo lakini wao umecheck you check citizen nimecheck ni so wasali let go switch pia nitaguzia tu kidogo you may go see Yes, ni wife wa wili. Mm -hmm. uh, na watu inane na mjukuu mmoja. Ah? Yeah. So I think au kuichimba vizuri. Hiyo si kuchimba. So, <laughs> so right now but then like mm. ni kitu naifanya ikuwe more interesting I think ni ju niko na au wife wa wili na mm -hmm. anajiona. Mm -hmm. But na stay how different. Mm -hmm. Nimeona kuna mali imechafua eti tuna stay how moja na si tuna stay how different like <laughs> same location. Mm -hmm. Um, big in Kisi, ah, Tom Dogo, Kikuyu, Minita. Aha, so Mina try to fight tribalism mm -hmm. through Kitumuita, Kenya Info Tribe Zero, Sipeni Tribalism. Mm -hmm. Alafu um, Kuba Mkisi in Christo, Um Dogo ni Islam. Mm -hmm. So at a Kidini, Strike with you, uh, Dini Migane, Mani, mm -hmm. ni Kadi Lam, Nakumari, ni Kimo. Mm -hmm. What we want on a Fanya Taekwondo, like in boxing, mm -hmm. na pia on a dance, mm -hmm. on a Imba pia. Mm -hmm. So ni familiar talent in fact. Oh, family talent. Na wife kubwa pia ni player wa national team kickboxing na family mm -hmm. trainer mm -hmm. na pia watu wangu wengi wapatao shamba za high school mm -hmm. pia ni trainer wa kickboxing mm -hmm. na mm -hmm. so, na taekwondo martial arts. Ninakao you're so passionate na history ya polygamy. <laughs> Una plan ya kuongeza watatu na how has covid been? <laughs> okay, sita sema kuhusu watatu. Sita na direct to kickboxing I think. Mm -hmm. Next time mm -hmm. We've got it for your story. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The reason I explain a cool is uh, <laughs> how managing family and yeah. two wives in Mekua, item ya COVID, latest this week, to mescare two athletes, women wow. Kwa sababu ya easy family tassels, relationship is in a kwangumu sana. And it's so it, it it's about the sports uh, fraternity. No one is really happy right. of what is happening. Advice yako to kwa wale when you maybe wanna to watch kusu ku handle the relationships na hizi differences zote naweza kuangalia. Okay, sa sa hizi sana nimeshika sasa hiyo njia. Mm -hmm. Sasa nimeelewa unaweza jia sports na kwa pamoja sports. Yeah. Yeah. So Michael na Zambia watu ni hivi. Mm -hmm. For men hakuna kama mwanamke mzuri duniani. Mm -hmm. Na for ladies hakuna mwanamke mzuri. Mm -hmm. Ule wako mwenye umepata kama unaweza kana naye kana naye. Mm -hmm. Na pia kutoa mtu hai ukidani ya ndio itakufanya yani u you feel like uko free na ile life vile iko. Mm -hmm. Haiwezi sawa ni kitu. Mm -hmm. Kama bro hai tabaki huku na ile kitu uko nataka kufanya ndio unafanya mtoi wai na ile tunasema ile kitu kingine life is what you take it or what you make it uki take life ukiwa ngumu itakuwa ngumu ukitake ikiwa rais itakuwa rais ukiwa mimi size kata kit master mwenyewe hakuna alifa mimi anafanya job na watu wote mimi na set up for everything education yao talents yao size everything 
na sio tuna pesa vile but talent pays talent na hiyo ndio maana bado mm-hmm. naweza rudi nyuma nikasirike design plan kuhusu mwenye aliyoongea akisema artists wako dao na wananga pesa ni nini ni artists mm-hmm. yenye niko naye na nitosha bila kutosha na jiskona na true martial arts tukuje kwa talent na martial arts ah uh, takid ije ni mtoka wapi ah uh, jina takid nilianzisha nikiwa the age of 12 let me say around 15 there cuz sadly kwa cheza taekwondo niko mdao ni anza na karate nitaingia taekwondo mm-hmm. sadly so, nilikuwa cheza game ya taekwondo mm-hmm. na pia naenda na mix na watu wa martial arts zingine kama karate na cheza open nilienda kanzishwa jina taekwondo kid mm-hmm. so hiyo taekwondo kid ikashinda niwa ikakuwa taki mm-hmm. so master ikakuja ikakuwa njia um, experience yangu kwa martial arts na kwa miaka ile nimefunza watu wengi makocho wengi sasa hizo wa martial arts wengi wamefikia mkononi mwangu kuna watu na pia nimefunza watu wengi mm-hmm. wengi wameandikwa njia tofauti kama kwa military wengine wapi so mm-hmm. ni kitu nimefanya mm-hmm. na at least uh, na give back to the society mm-hmm. through his talents na sports na muweza kwa mbele watu kila siku kwenye nimetokea ni dandola na sita ifunza na musema every day mm-hmm. na ndio ni mall ikaenda yes. ikakuwa mstone na ndio face two mm-hmm. na sitaongea zaidi kuhusu dandola face two ni nini na tunajia nayo mm-hmm. lakini kwa mayu kwa Dandora face 2 kwa kila mtu wa Dandora face 2 muanga na kaka yani kitu naweza kuja kuwasaidia nayo zaidi na sasa hivi kwa saizi muifanya true sports na true your talent lakini next maybe wenda nikaamua kitu tofauti yenye inaweza kusaidia zaidi na wao wanajua nimesema kitu tofauti wanajua as the national coach Kenya Federation competition before tukuje kwa kwa Apollo how how would you describe the state of kickboxing in the country kickboxing in the country size iko poor because kuna na vile tuingia kwa ofisi 24/7 paka saa hizi anda leadership ya president wetu professor Iraki Kanyebe na secretary general Willy Nganga naona wamejaribu kutupatia ile nguvu tufanye kazi yetu kulingana na kila mtu docket yake cuz kama mimi ni competition secretary nationally sasa mimi ndio na oversee hii vile tournaments zitafanywa the venues everything kama hiyo yeye sayu mm-hmm. ili make sure imefanywa na imefaulu mm-hmm. hata kama covid ilikuwa na tuko tume support on everybody mm-hmm. ilikuwa tumefanya nyinyo mm-hmm. kutoka kwa mko wetu si wenyewe mm-hmm. na bado pia ya 13 november yenye na come so pia hiyo itakuwa national league mm-hmm. na hiyo pia tuta make sure tumetafuta venue hata saa hizi na tutafuta venue ni make sure watu wamecheza mm-hmm. cuz nataka push kickbox to another level mm-hmm. sasa hii kwa saa zote tikikana siku ya karate taekwondo mm-hmm. nini mm-hmm. yes hiyo ni familia yetu yote cuz all are martial arts. Kwa sasa mimi kulingana kwenye niko ni kickboxing. I'm fighting hard to make sure that kickboxing ni pushiwa zaidi mpaka ifike kwenye iko. Na that's why every time I make sure nimekuja kwa tu sports car nyingi switch na media zingine to support cuz unajua through media at least tunafikisha report home kwa kila mtu. So hiyo ndio kitu ninalosema kuhusu Kenya Kickboxing Federation na tunaisukuma zaidi na teams ni mingi sasa teams zimeamka then plan yangu ingine kama competition secretary nationally nataka ni make sure nimeanza from primary level to the secondary mm-hmm. then paka university ndio mm-hmm. tukuje kutoa wachezaji wazuri kutoka huko chini na mashinani pia ndio kila kaunti yeah aha very good mm-hmm. apollo so uh, tutafuga kwa 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 organizer competition yeah. ndio kwa hapo sasa ukianza ku isimila na karate and then ukaenda ka ukaenda ka kickboxing taekwondo taekwondo ukaenda kickboxing and kickboxing yeah. so ukiingia uliingia cause ulikuwa na kuwa fit ama self defense what was your motivation good question yeah. for sure mimi nikiingia mara ya kwanza nilikuwa nimeingia nikitaka tu self defense cause unajua kwa nilikuwa nime grow dandora mm. ni place hard zai nyenye kama uko fit unaweza kuamiwa ni so nilikuwa na train at least for self defense from then ndio nikakuja nikaona ah hii kitu kumbe naweza enda kujaribu tournament nikaenda nikajaribu tournament ya kwanza niko na mengine na vizuri hiyo ni karate ilikuwa ni one one excuse me ni tobi mmoja ni ya North Korea so baada ya kujaribu kuingia taekwondo taekwondo pia kuna types mbili kuna ITF au taekwondo federation no international taekwondo federation ya toka North Korea tunaka kama hiyo tobi mmoja alafu pia tuko na world taekwondo federation WTF sasa hiyo ndio nikaingia ni modern na iko Olympics then baadaye watu wengi wenye tumeingia kickboxing wote tumefanya hizi hasa tumecheza kutoka president wetu secretary general vice chairman tena anaitwa Dejirokia na mimi takid mwenyewe hapo hivi tumefanyia yote na tumecheza mm. na that's why nikiguzia kidogo pia mimi uliza saa zile tunachagua sports officials mm. at least chagua pia watu ambao wanafanya hiki kitu wakafeel ile pain mm. ndio wakuje kujua pain yenye players pia wanaenda through mm. na hiyo kitu kingine pia ningeguzia ni game za watu hivi vijana size wa join kickboxing cause in a future size tuko kwa olympics so next olympics kickboxing itakuwa 
represented na araita kwa Beijing no kuna olympics winter olympics zita kwa Beijing next year so but as yeah next year so tunangojia hiyo na just at taenda na na try to work hard through for na that government based support tuweze kupeleka team zetu international ndio sasa tuanze kufanya ile manana ya at least to recruit team to be strong ndio qualifiers za olympics ikikam tuweze kutoka kwenda na hii ni game physical sana huko ikianza kucheza huko na kwa kumizwa kuna joking ya kitu kuna swimo kuna bake kuna kila kitu lakini ukichagua combat sports maanisha unapenda kitu yenye nakuguza mwili matiana patiwe rusha ushie kuna sorry ni chai mapigi hapa kuhusu mimi kuingia karate by the way nilipigwa tepe moja huko nyosho aliliacha bwana lakini huko coach yeye alikuwa anakufunza for sure hapo kwa kitu suppose mimi ujiwaga kama beginner mekam kwa class wacha nipatie watu wa ondo ndio watu wasione ni kama nakileta mtoto kutoka coach transition watoto from 3 and a half years and above mtu yote anaza train akwenda wait gani akwenda nini any gender pia so ukikuja ku train tutakuanzia pole pole na ile kitu watu ndangani tukiingia karate ama mashara sio watu na stretchiwa kabisa wa nate mara moja na it's a lie si uongo kipara mtu anafanya hivyo ndio ule mtu ameenda mtaani akachukua zile kamba za kufunga bag zile za black akafunga kwa kiuno akasema ni black belt ndio kuja kukujia pesa lakini ana experience kwa hiyo ana experience anakuanzia chini pole pole hakuna ku stretch hivyo unaanza na basic moves after, after basic moves tunaingia size advanced na sparring hauwezi fanya kama hujaelewa hata any basic move huwezi kwa hivyo wewe mwenye anafanya kufanya sparring kama sasa ana watch ajue ni shule so maybe one last question for me ni benefits gani mwenye msee anaweza pata atakujoin kwa wale viewers wana ku watch sasa hivi benefits gani anaweza pata kijana kickbox okay benefits ni mingi number one health is well utakuwa mhealthy sasa so unafanya zoezi ni kitu cha kwanza defense iko ndani alafu tunakuwa na tenex zile cup objectives let me say that tunakuwa na perseverance tunakuwa na humility tunakuwa na self control alafu tunakuwa na kitu kingine kubwa zaidi inaitwa discipline so kwa njia yako yote ya life life yako yote hata kaa nini wewe mko hapa ofisi yote shule mtu anafanya in life anataka za discipline na hiyo ni kitu martial arts iko nayo hali ya juu alafu apart from discipline tunakuwa na kitu kingine yani inaitwa self control zile kitu watu wanafanya huku kando kando si hatuwezi fanya mm-hmm. so tunakuwa straight and that's why nikirudi nasema mm-hmm. naweza kutunza familia because of self control na discipline mm-hmm. talking yeah. about discipline na wewe kuleta watoto as young as 3 years kwa game uh, what is the future like like najaribu ku understand 20 years from now 10 years from now wewe kitu na build is it something tutaka chini tuseme by the way au watu hii foundation walipata ni kwa sababu ya uh, takid uh, the reason as to why kickboxing in the country iko kubwa sana ni kwa sababu ya takid future ya his sport iko wazi juu si sport yenye sana sana uzungumziwa that's true mm. nimekubali and the reason why is mix wangu because kickboxing for sure what i'm saying kwa unataka martial arts yenye kwa street na za jokoa vizuri kwa kickboxing hata mm. mkuniuliza mara kwanza what is kickboxing kickboxing nikiweza ku explain ni ile bumi 50% ni boxing mm-hmm. na mateke 50% taekwondo na hizo martial arts zile zote. Alafu kickboxing unaweza tumia ni strike na tumia elbow strike na kisa hiyo inaenda size moja ita ina moja ina toka Thailand. But yet ni American style of kickboxing. Mm-hmm. So the kickboxing tuko na full contact tuko na low contact yenye hiyo ni ya Muay Thai. Ukiona watu wote wanafanya kama kina tompo na mm-hmm. ukiona mwenye anafanya kickboxing akiwa na short hiyo ni Muay Thai. Mm-hmm. Lakini mwenye ako na trosa mm-hmm. lakini kifua tumbo hapana mm-hmm. hiyo sasa ni full contact mm-hmm. kickboxing oh. ile sasa tunafanya mm-hmm. leza to modo hizo ni karate mm-hmm. to ngil modo bujuru mm-hmm. shotokan mm-hmm. zote ni karate mm-hmm. zinafanya mm-hmm. unajua hilari hilari namjua ah, ni ah, general wa to ngil modo mm-hmm. hilari umemfunza sitaongea zaidi lakini <laughs> hilari namjua na hilari yeah. anajua vizuri mm-hmm. so hilari tumekuwa na ani mtu atutambo mm. na mimi nafurahia sana na mimi appreciate sana vile Hillary ame move Hillary ametengeneza Tongil Modo ikajulikana yeah, Tongil Modo yeah. and that's what even we as kickboxers tunajaribu sana kwa bidi si wanga na Hillary hata saidie tu pia kickboxing si wanga vitu vingi mm-hmm. as martial artist mm-hmm. na umeniuliza vizuri ile future yenye takamo watu watakuwa nasema takid master alijaribu taka make sure si takid master peke yake ni the whole federation mm-hmm. under the president mm-hmm. professor Iraki Kanyethe mm-hmm. Under uh, uh, Secretary General mm-hmm. Willinganga, mm-hmm. 
vice chairman technical mm -hmm. david okia na mimi mwenyewe taki master kama commission for less than 2 minutes ndio yes. naambiwa two things yeah. zina stand out sponsorship na challenges mnapitia ningependa hizi zote uzieke in 1 minute malini okay tazia kai hivi mimi na za skill kama hivi wasiangalie tu football athletics mm -hmm. na rugby yeah. watu angalia ta ccp au ga martial arts martial arts zote lakini mimi hapa ndio ngoma ya kickboxing mostly cause ni game yetu nataka ibro zaidi so anytime tuko na tournament tafadhali tukaenda kwa ministry watupoke vizuri na watu sponsor na pia ama stakeholders wengine hapa nje pia tukienda kwa ofisi tuwanokie pia watusikize na wataona matunda yenye itakuwa ya kickboxing kwa nikambi tu kickboxing ni game yenye iko kwingi iko KDF iko kwa local clubs hizi za civilians so kama wanaweza tu support nikitakuja kutusaidia sana jiwe jiwe wenye tunatonyesha hapa nje tuko ingiza huko mbele wanaenda wana cooperate na nje tunatupa ya the country the most way you see the so most way. Uh -huh. if anyone wants to get in contact with you anaweza kufikia come to get in contact with us kuna KKBF Kenya Kickboxing Federation uh, Facebook page na pia kani mimi binafsi kata kid anaenda through Takid Master YouTube channel atapata stories zote atapata namba huko na ataniuliza chochote na ataona pia ma video za watoto kutoka the age wenye tunasema tunatonisha mpaka watu wazima na namba pia wanaweza to contact through 07168591132 Sawa <laughs> sawa na your final thoughts as we wind up. Um mimi naweza sema hivi sasa hivi sasa mind sports uh, generally mm -hmm. Kenya kuna talent. Na hii maneno yetu tunakuja kusikia wengine wakiongelelea mpaka inabaki hata kwa football. Mimi mm -hmm. ni Kenya ina talent tafadhali. Mm -hmm. Leaders to go elect to go kwa ofisi kama mimi takid sisi ongelea kickboxers vibaya for any other kind of sports vibaya. Mm -hmm tuangalie vizuri na next time tukichagua uh, leaders wetu wachezaji tutagwe watu washai njia kwa field na wakafeel uchungu kama players mm -hmm. sawa so, sawa so, perfect way to sum up our sports finale this saturday and uh, on that note we wind up uh, the show 24 minutes past uh, the hour apologies your final thoughts kablan what is there iki oh i i think uh, in conversation we were very insightful mm -hmm. and then kuna information siko najua na jua pale mapijana mtaani kwa wana wana kuna kipaji like they can try and get and, in touch yeah. competition mwezi wa 8 tarehe 13th november 13th national yeah. league national league na yenda kwa nwari ndio itakuwa sawa sawa definitely tutakuja kuwatafuta definitely we come to the end of uh, sports finale this saturday a big thank you to everyone who's made this a success apollo james asante sana mm -hmm. asante sana ta kid master of oh, yes. Ah yes, sawa sawa. Hivi ni uh, Bosco Mbunda as well amekuwa hapa. Hivi ni host Cliff von Dubi and the entire the camera department crew and the gallery team. Asante sana wakiongozwa na mwenzangu Dede uh, mwenye amesema lazima ni taji jina lake and also Nadma uh, who has been my producer Spako who has been in the gallery. A big thank you to the next week same time same place 7 pm Joel Chacha will be here for breaking today and also uh, he will be bringing you the latest from the sports world. Yeah. Nice story. <laughs>